Seriously, Apple? What are you waiting for? How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and I really didn't want to make this video. It's been over 30 days since Apple released iOS 26, which was overall a positive software update. It introduced a bunch of new features, changes, the new design, so I'd say overall people actually liked iOS 26. But the problem is, with all of those changes came a problem, actually a bunch of small problems. And I'm talking about battery drain, overheating, connectivity issues, and much, much more. And the thing is, as I said, that was over one month ago. And even though Apple released iOS 26.0.1 to actually try and fix the majority of those issues, it didn't. At least it didn't completely because there are so many users with the same issues for over a month. Let me tell you a story. Yesterday I posted on Instagram that my iPhone 17 Pro Max is facing connectivity issues. So almost every day it just displays no service. And then after a few minutes it comes back to life and it gets signal again, 5G and it gets back to normal. But it isn't just that. This very same iPhone of mine, this is my daily driver, actually is facing Wi-Fi issues as well. So I'm right here in front of my router and then it just loses connection. There's no connection at all or sometimes the indication is completely full but there's just no internet connection. Even though I'm with my MacBook Pro right here, right next to it, and the internet connection is great. Same with my iPad and many of my other devices. So it's an issue with this device. And of course, I have also Bluetooth issues as well. So it's super common that CarPlay just disconnects out of the blue. So when we think of that, we think of connectivity issues. So cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So then I posted on Instagram and I asked the community, of course, I have a pretty large following on Instagram as well. And to my surprise, after just like a couple hours, I got over a hundred replies saying the exact same thing, reporting the exact same problem and way more problems than that. And to my surprise as well, it didn't come from the exact same model that I have, the iPhone 17 Pro Max. No, 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 it actually came from every single device. So iPhone 16, 16 Pro, 15 Pro, 14, 13, 12, even the iPhone 11. And it also didn't come from my region or my country. Uh, the reports actually came from Europe, the United States, Brazil, South America. So it's actually worldwide. So when we think of that, it's not something specific of an iPhone model or from a region. This actually has just one thing in common, which is iOS 26. And as I mentioned, they were not just talking about connectivity issues. People are talking about battery drain, overheating, laggy, buggy, like a crashy experience overall while running iOS 26. So the same old story everything we've been following and seeing since day one, since the release of iOS 26. And yes, of course, I have updated this phone to iOS 26.0.1, which on its release notes actually said that version would address this issue, like connectivity issues, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, and so on. But the thing is, it didn't, at least it didn't on every device. Maybe on some it did fix, on others, it didn't. And it became extremely clear because almost every single one of those people who talked to me after that post on Instagram, they said the exact same story. Those problems happened after updating to iOS 26. So it's not like people have a bad coverage. It's not like uh, the Wi-Fi router in the house or the office of these people is actually away from them so it doesn't work, no. Everything was great, everything was normal when talking about battery, connectivity, and everything. And after updating to iOS 26, they actually saw that change just like that instantly. So of course, it has to do with the software update. The idea of this video is just letting you know, 
is just giving you a report of what's going on right now, especially if you are facing those issues and thinking, is this my phone? Is this because my iPhone is old, for example? And I'm telling you that most likely it isn't. So what I'm trying to tell you here is this is a general problem. I'm not saying it's affecting everyone running iOS 26. I know a bunch of people, probably the majority of people aren't facing all of those issues. But I'm also telling you that a lot of iPhone users, millions of iPhone users are actually facing at least one of those issues and sometimes all of them together if you are unlucky. So then in the end of the day, what can we actually do about this? And honestly, we pretty much have to wait. We have to wait to iOS 26.0.2, which apparently is coming. I was actually waiting to record this video because we were expecting to see iOS 26.0.2 yesterday or today, but it didn't happen. Maybe it will be released tomorrow. So we don't know, but I decided I was not gonna wait anymore. Uh, seeing so many people with so many issues. So then I decided to record this video nevertheless and explain you the real situation. So then all you have to do now is wait for 26.0.2 or of course to 26.1, which is gonna be the first major software update to iOS 26. And in my opinion, that's the only version that's probably gonna fix it. I don't expect 26.0.2 to fix those issues because it's gonna be such a small software update. So we're gonna be probably safe only in 26.1. So if you were still holding on, if you were still in iOS 18 and waiting for the best time, this isn't the best time just yet. And I would probably wait to 26.1, which is most likely just coming next month or right at the end of October. So we have to wait. And of course, I'll keep you updated and I'll keep you posted. And of course, last but not least, if you can't wait, if your iPhone is just too bad, too many connectivity issues, battery drain is so bad and other problems as well, you always have the possibility to reset your phone. So of course, back it up, reset, and then recover that backup so you don't lose any of your files. Uh, I do have a full tutorial teaching you how to do that step by step. I'm gonna leave it right here at the top. Uh, but that's always gonna be a last resort because it's quite a lot of work. You're gonna waste quite a lot of hours of your day doing this process. So just do it if you really, really need to, all right? So that's pretty much it. This is the latest update and report of iOS 26 at the moment. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's hope Apple actually wakes up and finally fixes this once and for all. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye bye guys.